Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of May the 14th through to the 20th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the Ten of Wands reversed. Next, we have the a Major Arcana, the Sun, upright. Then we have the Six of Wands in the upright followed by the Seven of Swords, Upright, and lastly, Major Arcana, the Magician in the Upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, Aries, you have that of the Six of Wands in the Upright position. I do like this energy. This energy responds um, to uh, victory and success. This is the Prodigal Son Returns, that kind of energy um this for some of you maybe you've just completed a project and you're working on something uh you were working on something and you're getting a lot of attention uh pats on the back work well done that kind of energy around you very good for your overall energy for the week aries now coming into the beginning of the week on the monday you have the ten of wands in the reverse position when this card comes up, I do prefer to see it inverted like this because this indicates we are dropping some of our burdens, which I do uh, like to see. When the Ten of Wands is upright, this can be uh, some difficult energy. This is when we're taking on too much, doing too many things. Um, uh, just basically uh, taking too much on our plate, uh, overworking, overdoing things. To the point where it could be detrimental when it's reversed like this this is releasing these energies really good for some of you with the six of wands being here maybe you were working on a project um prior to this week and perhaps now that it's come to its conclusion maybe now you're not working so hard so you're allowing some of uh, these burdens to be released really good and it's paired up with Major Arcana, the sun in the upright position. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. I love the sun. The sun speaks of uh, happiness, again, success and vitality. Um, with the sun and the six of wands here, uh, maybe there's a major success. Some of you are celebrating this week, Aries. If that's the case, then, you know, kudos to you. Looks like it could be an extremely good week for you guys. Very good. But the sun is here to also back up the Six of Wands to speak of victory, success, and uh, attainment, and uh, goals reached, that kind of energy. So now moving towards the weekend of <clears throat> the 18th, uh, 19th, you have the Seven of Swords in the upright position. This is the infamous uh, liar, cheater, thief card. Uh, doesn't always mean that. A lot of times the uh, Seven of Swords can uh, simply represent an avoidance. Uh, sometimes when somebody is avoiding us or we're avoiding them, uh, avoiding a situation. Um, also, too, this card can come up when there is a need to for discretion. Sometimes this card will come up because we need to be discreet in a situation because this is also the card that speaks of guile and, and cunning and being shrewd. Sometimes we need to do that, especially where a potential successful project could be involved. Um, it's paired up with the magician in the upright position. You have two major arcana in the spread, so it could be a pretty intense week for you, uh, Aries. The Magician Upright, this is all about having all the tools and knowing how to use them, feeling very confident and moving forward with um, with full intent and feeling very confident that you can reach your goals. Coming off such a huge success, uh, it's not surprising to find this at the end of the week for you guys. Excellent, excellent reading, Aries. I hope this uh, helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now, Aries.